dot. It's a dot. Then horizontal line. Hung. Hung. Shu. And then few other for me for me, uh, for me based on these five, then they have some formation. For example, this one and this one. Hung And that's this one with a hook. Hook. Or hook the other side. Hook. Or it can be this one. Hook. Can be. So this is also one stroke. So we call this separate stroke, we call it one stroke. Then all the Chinese calligraphies, words, are based on these essential strokes, essential strokes. For example, some Chinese character can be as simple as just one stroke. If these are just uh, strokes, now start these two lines, I will write this is already characters. So there is a word, there is a Chinese character, it's just one stroke. What's that? That's Yi, we say Yi. This means one. I already showed you this morning. And two. Three. <clears throat> so three strokes. Now four strokes. Uh, actually four, <laughs> it is five strokes. I don't write that. I write four strokes. For example, six. Now Liu. One, two, three, four. Yeah. This this is a six. Of course, it's, if it's not a 10, then you need 10 strokes. Because 10, actually, we just have a 2 strokes. <coughs> That's 10. It's more like so. <coughs> Some characters can be as simple as just one stroke. Some can be like that. Jinta together with here another word. Jinta let the police. Jinta. Oh, Jinta oh, Lalo! <laughs> Here's the police! Ah, Jinta. Yeah. So this is a uh, Chinese at least you you know stroke means. Now let's talk about uh, the four uh trailers <coughs> for a scholar's study. You know, in the ancient time, Chinese ancient people in the past, slow pace. <laughs> so, Chinese tradition contains more elegant lifestyle. They have calligraphy, painting, the musical instrument, poem, all these kind of things. So, and a typical <coughs> scholar's Study like he make oh here put books then have a table then write calligraphy related to calligraphy there are four treasures they call uh fang uh 
，嗯，书房四宝，啊，文房四宝，文房四宝 means a four chairs for a scholars， 嗯 ，room， what are they？ they are 笔墨纸纸砚 ，the four chairs is one is 笔。墨，笔墨笔墨纸砚，笔墨纸砚。These are the four, four chairs of a. What is, 笔 So, the pen, or the brush pen. This is 笔笔墨 What is 墨 So, inside here, that this 墨 This 墨 is liquid. The 墨 in shape of a liquid. Actually, in ancient time, they don't make it、uh, liquid. It's a、uh, solid. Maybe in shape, in square shape. That's that ink. That's the more. Zi, the third one. Zi, this paper. So, the correct word paper. This is zi. Yan. What is yan? That solid shape, solid ink will be made into, you know, with water. So they have to then there, then put water in it. A mixture. It's like.、Uh, This kind of thing, so they call it yan, ah, yan tai. Today they already make、uh, easily make the in a liquid shape, put in a bottle, then to put it out. Eventually, <coughs> we don't have this, and this yan simply remain as a probably like a cultural relics. Some. Um, this is like old fashion. Some calligrapher probably still want to buy the ink in form of、uh, stone. They they want to feel the very ancient way, <laughs> something like that. Oh, so for this paper, you know, this is a regular calligraphy paper. Today, this is a good invention for calligraphy beginners. You can use see, this is water. This just water, so this is not just magical for you, even for us. Ah,、uh, this like、uh, invention, maybe ten years, twenty years ago. I don't know when. So you write it later, it、uh, disappear. Then you can keep repeating. For the one who want to to learn, correct, but you you need more practice. If always this paper, there's a. Big cost, and they everywhere <coughs> these these dirty things. So they they use. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So, 笔墨纸砚 To write a calligraphy, you can either stand or sit. <coughs> sit. If you don't.、Uh, If you don't write a very small, small character, small character needs even smaller, very thin. So that way you do, <coughs> you do hear somebody touch here. Yeah, that's very, very small. Maybe like this big, this big. That's very small character. But now here, the bracket, it's this big. So normally. It's right big. If you write big, you yeah, this pen is okay. This brush pen, we say. So, for example, if I write、uh, Wu Dang Shan, ah, I write Wu Dang Shan. So the classic way of writing Chinese, from yeah, it's in column, also from right to left. <coughs> I will write Wu Dang Shan. Ever small.
So see here, I don't touch the ground because this is big, big one, big one. So this is the right way to hold. So if you can hold this, then later you can hold chopsticks. So Chinese people are fond of the use bamboo things. Well, chopsticks. So this is right with pen. So chopsticks. Yeah, you do it. Oh. You do this. So this is fixed. If you want to uh, grab some, to grab some. Hmm? Uh, grab some. Okay, but now, know this. This. So here we. This like uh, more fixed, and here more make it. <coughs> so we write this way. If it's something big, if like uh, especially curvy, curvy terms, we would do that way. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, now we go on with this one. But. So this is wu. Now down. Shu, dian, dian, heng, zhe, heng, heng. How many strokes? One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six. And the shan. What is the shan? Shan. Oh. One peak. Another peak, third peak. So originally, sun is, you know, sun is like like this, right? It's the ground. They originally, the, the word is like this. <coughs> of course, it's a bit uh, slow. There. <coughs> this is the <coughs> So, Dangshan. <coughs> Mm. Mm. So now I give you, mm, I show you how to write character. You, you, it's like a Tai Chi. This morning I say Tai Chi is the calligraphy you write in the air, and the calligraphy is the Tai Chi you practice on the paper. So you also you cannot do it this way. <coughs> this must be. Yeah, if you see it, if you stand, stand like a marble. Can you learn in school? Hmm? You learn in school to be. Like... Uh, each student at a school, normally in the secondary school, they will have a calligraphy lesson. Some schools, they not really do it. They just, uh, how to say? Not uh, practically do it. Superficial. Superficial. Sometimes later come say, oh, no, 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 let's do something, take it out. Uh, some school really do good job to to let the children know the tradition, the culture. Yeah. Uh, now there are very many good calligraph calligraphers in China. And for Chinese people, at least the relationship with the calligraphy, at least once a year, either they themselves write or they will invite people to write a calligraphy for their home. What's that? That is a Dui Lian. Normally that's a red color, not a white color. Use red paper to write black, to put on the door two sides because that's a pair of something. In Chinese language, Dui means a pair. For example, if... Uh, are you a couple here? Uh, you from one family? No. So if it's uh, a man or woman, it's a couple from one family, we, we say, mm, they are 他们是一对儿, a pair. Okay. So we say these two lines, if it's in red, but this is, doesn't matter red or white, this is a Dui Lian, only this is not really 
put for Chinese Spring Festival in Spring Festival. Uh, they put red color. 对。Sometimes if、uh, there's、uh, somebody die, die like a parents, like an old generation die, then for three years they would put、uh, green color or white color. 对联 on their their house. Otherwise, generally speaking, for Spring Festival each year, that that marks the beginning of the year. They would have all will have red color as background, as the background color, then the black black ink, its calligraphy. Besides, the Spring Festival when all almost all Chinese family except today. They live in apartment in a high building. It's hard to put that. So old Chinese family would have that. The other situation, like in my room, you already see calligraphy on the two sides of Zhang Sanfeng. All those people doing traditional culture, they would have more of that like this on the wall. Or sometimes it, 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 it's not a pair of two sentences. It's the whole poem, or it's a whole article. It can you can use calligraphy to write about a Tao Te Ching, maybe one or two chapters, maybe even you write many. You keep writing Tao Te Ching. This actor for long-term students. This is one thing we do.、Uh, um, now, will you try by yourself? Yeah.、Uh, Do they have papers to? Um, but oh, normally like you,、okay. they use a pen.、Uh, at the beginning, they use a、um, pencil because pencil, if they write wrong, they can erase.、Okay. They use a pencil. Then maybe towards fourth fourth grade or fifth grade, they can start using ballpoint pen or the regular pen. It's not like this. But some starts as early. Some school starts as early as elementary school. Some starts as secondary school. They would have a、uh, um, not compulsory class. It's、uh, oh, how to say that? That compulsory class. You know, you must learn a compulsory, a compulsory class. Yes, yes, yes. Some、uh, because he has to to learn.、Mm, some some school they say this is a must. Every student, there are even some like the points marks you should finish to to write it. Yeah. And, and how many characters must uh, uh, every Chinese learn? You have a, a, a number. Hmm. In a dictionary, in a complete dictionary, there are there are very many, very many characters. But、uh, for average Chinese. Very good communication, data communication. It's like a three thousand characters. Three thousand. Three thousand is quite good. Three hundred. Three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. You can speak and write very well. Uh, but uh, there are people who are not learning, they cannot write. Maybe one thousand is quite good. One thousand. So they learn the simplest way. To draw characters, and then you have the the art, the artist.、Um, this, of course, yeah, this is a good question. If we say we call it a calligraphy, if it's not simply the the tool you use language as a tool to communicate,、yes. just the tool, well, you write see, like,、uh, for example, you this pen. Okay, if I write Wu Dangshan, look. I write、uh, Wu. Oh, oh my God! I write here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah.、Uh, yeah. A paper. Mm, paper. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, if I if I if I write,、uh, I just write.、Uh, I I I don't write like.、Uh, yes. Bold. Draw. You cannot bold. Yeah. Not the calligraphy.、Uh, maybe I can write more stylish near calligraphy. So actually, oh, actually there is a hard pen calligraphy. This is soft pen calligraphy. Indeed, they can still can write、uh, in the. 
they they try to you know write more stylish, a little bit better, so it looks better. But absolutely, it's not uh, like a pen, you know, brush pen. I mean brush pen. Brush pen. We say if you write to left to right, you first go to left. If you write, go to left a little bit first right. Just notice. So if I write horizontal line, I don't, uh, I don't write, uh, I don't write this way. So a stylish write would be first go to uh, left a little bit, and then a uh, light, then higher up, then down. We have we we call it like a. Nice beginning, nice ending. In the middle, just go very quick. In the middle, that task is to finish the journey from left to right. You have a good ending. You have a good begin uh, ending. So I do again. So it's like a, a light, a little bit light, then a little bit up, then down. Then have a good this way. If you write with a pen, you don't need it that way. You just, you just draw a line. Yeah, yeah. So now I will show how to write. Uh, what in character? What what are you interested in? You each probably want to try. You want to write. You want to write a, the oh. name. The name. <laughs> <laughs> the name. It's like Bernardo, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, you have not be, been given a Mandarin name, Chinese name, simply your name, then the sound. Yeah, we, we Chinese, we, when we hear the name of this, that sound, we would have, for example, Anna. Bernard. Anna. Bernard, 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 and Anna. Anna, oh, Anna it's uh, Anna, we, we write Anna, so look. Anna, okay. Anna. I write <laughs> because English way you write from left to right. I just write according to the sound. So this is dot dot hung zhe. Anna is a very female name. I mean. I mean, I, I mean in Chinese, when I write in Chinese. Anna is a very official, I mean, already very long time, very fixed. When we Chinese write in a Chinese way about Anna, whoever from the US, from, from any European countries, we write this way. <coughs> Why I say Anna, Anna? Is a very female name because here there's a means female lady. Here is a female. In each character, there is a female woman. This is Anna. Wow. wow. Actually, An, what does what does An mean? An means safe, safe, safe. And uh, the top part means house, you know, it's like a house. It's like a house. And a woman stay at a house, at a home, is safe. Okay. One, one explanation is for a lady, stay at home is safe. Another meaning, the annotation is for a ha um, happiness of a family, normally the lady should be more, like a man more dominant outside to struggle in the world. Women, you make good arrangement of the house. That's the habit. <laughs> 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 Okay, Anna. No, you pay particular attention how it writes. First, maybe you stand here. Chinese character, generally speaking, is regarded as 
square. See, this is square. We call Chinese character Fang Kuai Zi, which means square shape character. What does square shape mean? An English, a European language, when it become complicated, you have more letters. It become long, long, long. Right. Chinese character is in a square. So then, what's the order to write it? They are top, bottom, and left, right. So your character, the first one, top, bottom; second one, left, right. Now top. That's top. Bottom. One. Two. Three. This is an. Na na. Left. I write. So it see it's like this. So this is left part. The right part. I think I'll be as good as with Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> But I will try. Okay, this is Anna. Remember yours. So, uh, who else? Alexander. Huh? Alexander. 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 That, that, that's too long. That Ali, Sanda, the four, four characters are hard. It's like this. Yes, yes, I know four characters. Yeah, listen. Okay, why well, you already have this? <laughs> so then, <laughs> yeah, because this Chinese name just a sound has no meaning. Uh, if later you really want to have a Chinese name. I will according to your wish, according to your character, according to something to give you a very nice Chinese name. Oh, that's my surname. Who means take care? Ya Li. This is your name. Can I make a photo? Yeah. Hui, are you a Hui? Okay, Hui. I just write Hui. Um, Chinese we can watch. So, who name? Whose name? My name. Hui. Hui. Okay, Hui. Hui. Left and right. Foundation. Tanda. <laughs> <laughs> We. Oh, well, this is the the character. This morning I say dot and then cross. Oh. It's easy. Okay. Oh. It has any meaning? No. Ah, yi 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 means yi means. If if we say somebody, <laughs> 重情重义 this man uh, take care very much about uh, emotion and uh, yi means it's a very good person, you know, uh, 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 very good person. Xie xie. Xie xie. We can huh? Who else? My name is very emotional. I am Anna. Also Anna. 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 Patricia. 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 Okay. Patricia. 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 Um, Patricia. How about Patricia? How about Lu Lucia? Lucia. Then I write a Lucia. Now time is short. I cannot give you a name for this moment. I just write what you said. Patricia. 
vai escolhendo sons que são semelhantes. Ele tenta escolher um som e um caráter que seja semelhante e positivo. Sim. Um que é semelhante e outro seja positivo. Mas, mas quando, quando não falta de falta não, não lhe vem outra letra, Sim. olha, espera-se, escreve, arranja um qualquer que tenha um som para si. Your name. This is your <coughs> training name. So Good we can abbreviate. Just two, ca two characters. Pia. Yeah. Yes. Pia. Yeah. Yeah. That's because we have a Chinese surname. Pei. Somebody's surname is Pei. Yeah. Then yeah. what does it mean? Uh, it, it it's a name. It's a nice name. It's a nice name. Sometimes it's a nice name. 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 It's a nice